السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين My beloved brothers and sisters Across the globe we are witnessing so much of hardship and difficulty Across the globe we are witnessing sickness, disease, loss, calamity and so much of negativity some people are drawing closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a result of all of this for them good news. Some people are drifting away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People say, I am calling out to Allah, I am making dua to Allah, I am asking Allah, why is Allah not answering me? Someone told me I've been making a dua for two years and Allah did not answer my dua. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explains to us, Every one of you will be responded to and is responded to for as long as you don't make haste. So the companions asked him, what is it? What is meant by making haste? He says, an, an for a person to say, da'awtu falam yustajabli. I made dua and I made dua, but I didn't get a response. Do you not trust Allah? Do you not know that Allah knows what is best for you? Sometimes you're asking for something that Allah knows is not good for you. He won't give it to you. And sometimes you're not asking for something that Allah knows is better for you. So he gives you how many of us have so many things. In fact, every one of us have so many things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. We did not ask him for. He blessed us with it. He blessed us with so many gifts. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So always thank Allah. But today I'd like to speak about something very important. We know that Allah is the most merciful. We know that He is the most kind. Al Ghafur, Al Ghaffar. Ghaffar means one who constantly forgives, not one time, many times. Every time you do wrong, He forgives you. That is Al Ghaffar. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Wadud, the most loving. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Rahim, the most merciful. Al-Rahman, also the most merciful, a different type of mercy. So I want to ask you a question. Do you really think that the day you go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will not look at the days when you sought forgiveness and the days when you praised him and the days when you believed in him completely and fully, the days when you worshipped him. Do you really think that Allah is going to ignore all of this when he is the most forgiving, the most merciful, the most kind, the most compassionate, etc, etc. The answer is obviously not. Allah is going to look at us, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the eye of mercy. Remember that. Don't ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Shaytan's plot is to make you lose your link with Allah by making you lose hope in the mercy of Allah. And this is why in Surah Al-Zumar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in a verse known as the verse with the greatest hope in it. The verse with the greatest hope in it. Arja ayah fil Quran al -Karim. It has the greatest hope in the entire Quran. It's this verse. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Say, O oh my worshippers, who have transgressed against themselves. What is meant by transgressing against themselves? When you commit a sin, are you harming Allah? No. Who are you harming? Your own self. That's who you are harming. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above all. He is independent of all. Ya ayyuhan nasu antumul fuqara'u ila Allah. Wallahu huwa al-ghaniyul hamid. O people, you are fully dependent upon Allah. And Allah is absolutely independent of all of you. He is deserving of praise. And He is the owner of all praise. Subhanallah. 
deserving of praise, meaning whether you praise him or not, he is still the owner of praise. You know something amazing with Allah, when you praise Allah, when I praise Allah, I'm actually helping myself. That's amazing with Allah. When I say Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, I'm praising Allah. All praise is due to Allah, glory be to Allah, Allah is the greatest, etc, etc. All that is myself benefiting, not Allah. Allah doesn't benefit from your ibadah, nor is he harmed by your ma'asiyah or your sin. He doesn't benefit through your acts of worship and he's not harmed by your sin. It is rather the benefit for us and the harm against us. So Allah says, Oh, my worshippers who have transgressed against themselves. The first thing he says, asrafu ala anfusihim, la min rahmatillah. Don't ever, in our language, we would say, don't you dare lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Don't ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah. So that means if you lose hope in the mercy of Allah, you are going against the command of Allah. If you lose hope in the mercy of Allah, you are committing a major sin against Allah. Allah is telling you, don't lose hope. You say, no, I'm losing hope. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Allah is telling you, don't lose hope. And you're saying, no, I have done too much. I am far away. I am not, you know, within the mercy of Allah. That is shaitan trapping you. Shaitan traps. How does he trap? By making you think that Allah won't have mercy on you. Look at Adam alayhi salam. Something very interesting that Allah allowed to happen through his divine decree. Allah told Adam and Hawa alayhi salam, you can be in Jannah and do what you want, right? Except one thing. Right or wrong? Except one thing. Allah says, do what you want. Only one thing, don't do. You and I, we have maybe hundreds of things we are not allowed to do, right? Hundreds of things. There's so much of haram that we are not allowed to do. And we will stay away for the sake of Allah. Adam alayhi salam, there was only one thing. Allah says, وَلَا تَقْرَبَا هَذِهِ الشَّجَرَةِ And don't go close to this tree. Don't eat from this fruit. That's all. There's nothing else. Everything else, you can do what you want, you know. Allah says, فَكُلَا حَيْثُ شِئْتُمَا Eat whatever you want. Do what you like here. This is Jannah. One thing we want is don't eat from this fruit. Guess what? The exact thing that Adam alayhi salam was told not to do, he did it. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. The exact thing he was told, don't do this thing only, that is the same thing he did. Because it was shaitan who actually made him that way. Made him think. How did shaitan con him? Shaitan tells him, do you know what? We know why Allah told you not to eat from the tree. If you eat from there, you become rich. You're going to have a lot of wealth that will never deplete. And if you eat from there, you won't die. No death will come against you. Subhanallah. No death will come against you. هَلْ أَدُنُّكَ عَلَى شَجَرَةِ الْخُلْدِ وَمُلْكٍ لَا يَبْلَى Should I show you that tree that you, if you eat from, you will not die. You last forever. And you will have dominion and kingdom that will never deplete. Subhanallah Rabbil Alameen. And then when he tricked Adam alayhi salam, as soon as Adam alayhi salam committed the sin, he realized, oh, oh, he felt a shame. His shame was exposed. And he said, Rabbana, ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Oh our Rabb, we have wronged ourselves. Look at how that verse of mercy, it says, الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ Those who have transgressed against themselves. Here he is saying, ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا We wronged ourselves. It goes to show you when you commit a sin, Allah is not harmed. You are harmed. So Adam alayhi salam is saying, Oh Allah, we have wronged ourselves. Anfusana. And you know what? Illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna. If you don't forgive us and have mercy on us, we will be from the losers. Allah says, No problem, Adam. We have forgiven you. Subhanallah. We have forgiven you. Why? Because we heard these words from you. You sought forgiveness, you are forgiven. Adam alayhi salam was chosen by Allah to be the first 
of the species. In a certain way, Allah created him. He was not born. He was created. Difference. So Allah forgave him. And Allah is telling all of us, no matter what you do, even if Allah told you, do not do this, don't do it. Learn from the example of your forefather, Adam. You know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says? Ya bani Adam la yaftinannakum ash-shaytanu kama akhraja abawaykum min al-jannah. Allahu Akbar. Oh children of Adam, that's you and I. We are all the children of Adam. We are all brothers and sisters. We are all connected to each other somehow. We are related somehow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh children of Adam, don't let shaitan trap you and test you the same way he did to your father Adam. And he made them come out of Jannah. He was jealous. So he harmed them. He trapped them. And when they got trapped, they did something Allah told them not to do. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we forgave them because they sought forgiveness. So Allah is telling us, you seek forgiveness, I will forgive you. That's what Allah is saying. Ask for forgiveness, I'll forgive you. You did the sin once, forgive. Seek forgiveness, Allah will forgive. You committed it again, seek forgiveness, Allah will forgive. You committed it a third time, seek forgiveness, Allah will forgive. You committed it a fourth time, seek forgiveness, Allah will forgive. And so on. Each time you seek forgiveness, you must promise Allah, I'm not going to do this again. But if shaitan comes to you after that and you fell again, seek forgiveness. The idea is never to lose hope in the mercy of Allah. No matter where shaitan took you, come back. No matter where he took you, he took you to the pubs and the clubs and the casinos and the adultery and whatever else and the anything, the gambling and the drugs and whatever it may have been. Come back, please, my brothers and sisters, no matter how many times you did what you did, Come back. That's what Allah is telling you. Don't lose hope. Allah says, I made you. You have no option but to come back to me. One day you're going to come back to me. You have to. There's no chance that you're not. The day you are going to return to Allah, think of good things. You know, my brothers and sisters, if you are present when someone is in their sickness of death, Sakarat, what should you tell them? We are taught that you should remind them of the good they did, not the bad. The bad is wiped out. Consider it wiped. Tell them Allah loves you. You're going to return to Allah. Allah has prepared a Jannah for you. Allah has pre prepared forgiveness for you. Allah will grant you the goodness. We are going to meet with Allah, the most merciful, the most kind, the most forgiving, the most compassionate. I actually believe myself that the day I'm going to return to Allah, I will be so amazed because if I'm impressed by creation here and a few of the things I see around me, subhanallah, imagine how impressed I'm going to be by Al Khalaq, the creator of entire creation. People are still trying to arrive on the moon and Mars and wherever else and they're talking about it, right? They're talking about it and they want to go more and more and more. Allah knows what will happen. Allah says, Ya ma'ashar al-jinni wal-insi in istata'atum an tanfudhu min aqatari s-samawati wal-ard fanfudhu la tanfudhuna illa bi-sultan fa bi-ayyi alai rabbikuma tukathiban Surah Al-Rahman Allah says, O mankind, O jinn kind If you would like to dive in the earth so go up into the skies whatever you want to try to do you may go ahead you will not be able to get to any place that Allah has not permitted you to get to if you see the moon you don't know how many moons there are there's only one that's visible to you and I maybe there might be so many galaxies Allah created that you and I don't know science is discovering new planets by the minute by the minute bigger and huger and massive and they're telling you there are billions of these huge planets that we've never ever dreamt existed but because of a little bit Allah is showing you his greatness thank you so much for listening to the short message I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope and the same applies to all of us Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.